What's up guys, my name is Sipsy and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we're going to be talking about this Tonali Moments player card, the objectives, the team that I've built and some ideas on players that you can use to help get this a little bit quicker and get this a little bit easier. So let's jump straight into the objectives and talk through what you need to do. So starting off, you need to get two assists with three balls in two separate matches. Uh, one assist in two separate matches with uh, midfielders in the life of friendly manager or masterpiece mode. The second one is Italian in six, so you're going to need to score in three separate matches with Italian players. Um, then you need to assist six goals with a four-star weak foot player um, overall, but that can be all done in the same match. Uh, then we're looking at win six matches and, of course, score in 12 separate games. So hopefully you should be able to get this done inside the 12 games with just six wins required. Obviously, the slightly more difficult one is the Italian players one because there's not fantastic Italian attacking options. But I do think this finale is worth the grind. It looks like an exceptional card and we'll take a look at it at the end, but let's jump straight into the squad that I've built. So on the screen, guys, is the squad that I have built for this objective. As you can see, we are running a 4-1-2-1-2, as I like to run that in this game. I think it's one of the best formations. A lot of people are using the 5-back, but I still prefer this 4-1-2-1-2 to that. Obviously, I've got a couple of expensive players in here, but I will give you some alternatives for those. So in goal, I've gone for Morante. The main reason is that he's 6 foot 4 78 rated. You know, you just look for tall keepers. Lowish gold rating is what you want, and that's where you go. Right back, no one else I would have other than Bruno Perez. He is so, so good in this game and at 77 rated, perfect for this mode. Uh, across to the left back again, I really wouldn't swap out uh, the left back at Teo Hernandez at 80 rated for anyone else either. He's fantastic, really good pace, really good stats, you know, just one of those that you've got to have here. Centre back similarly, there are some other options, but I would say that these two are fantastic. Luis Felipe, 75 pace, 79 defending, he's six foot two. He's medium high, great work rates on a centre back. The other centre back is Demoral, 72 pace, 78 defending, 77 physical, 6 foot 4, medium high on him as well, fantastic. Uh, I did think that theme wise we should use the Tonali one to watch because to be honest, what else are you going to use it for now? He's going to be completely utterly useless unless he gets an inform and then it's not going to be as good as the moments one. So it's basically a, a case of uh, whether you put him into an SBC for fodder, whether they release the new one to watches and he can go in one of those as a guaranteed uh, one to watch. Um, or you wait for an upgrade and he maybe gets an 84 or something and you can use him as fodder for another SPC. But Tonali is a good one to run, even just the regular Tonali in here because he's got 80 pace and really well-rounded stats anyway. Uh, on the right, I've gone for Politano. The main reason for that is he's got the four-star uh, weak foot that we need. Um, again, on the left-hand side, I've gone for De La Feu because most people should have this objective card if they've managed to grind for it by now. He's a phenomenal card, will be the difference maker in this squad and four-star weak foot as well. You can just go for the regular card though of De La Feu and still get a job done for you in this squad. Um, in Cam, I've converted Keita Valdidial down to a centre forward mainly because I need to use Torre Rossa as the Italian player. Uh, alternatives are Kevin Lasagna for this position, but he being one of the only Italians that's fast and striker has been price locked a little bit. Uh, Keita Valdidial, last time I did these Serie A objectives, was an absolute beast. He was just unplayable and therefore I needed to have him in this team. When I have scored the three separate game goals with uh, Toro Grossa, he will be coming out and uh, Keita Valde will be going straight up top. Uh, the other player I've gone for is Rebic. Uh, Rebic's regular card is very useful as well, but I've got this one as an investment as I feel that Milan will progress and I decided to use it. If you've got 100k, to spend or you have this Revit, definitely include him as well. He is phenomenal. And then we look at some options on the bench here. Uh, Nandez for that CDM role, or even if you wanted to play him in the, the cam role, or as another attacking or box-to-box -box midfielder, he wouldn't be too bad. The shooting obviously is his problem, so he's better defensively. Uh, a right-back option, even though I said I wouldn't switch out Bruno Perez, Marle, I'm not sure how you say his name, is phenomenal anyway. Uh, I think that he's the other option really, but his defense is a little bit low. Uh, Frank Kessie, very well rounded again, another option instead of Tonali in there. Uh, Lozano as a winger, he obviously doesn't have the four star, uh, four star weak foot that you need for the assists, but uh, he does have a four star skill moves and is a very, very effective player. Ozman, however, does have the four star weak foot, and you could quite easily swap Ozman in for uh, Bale Diao or someone instead of Toro Grossa if you lower the rating somewhere else. So he is another option to use up front, for instance, if you were to swap him for Rebic, and then uh, we stick. Keita Balde back in there, you'll see that the rating is back under the 77 bit. So those are some options that you can use and I hope that that will help. Let's take a look at the Tonali card and see whether it's worth grinding for. 
So this Tonali card is medium high, three star, three star, which means that effectively you are going to want to play him as a CDM rather than a box to box or any sort of attacking midfielder. Uh, the three star shot and the three star weak foot are going, three star weak foot and three star skill moves are going to hinder him a little bit as an attacking player, uh, especially with the meta of this game with a lot of skill moves being used and obviously weak foot being very important. Medium high as well for work rates makes him way better as a CDM. Um, looking at his stats though, he is obviously Hulligang, very, very well rounded stats. Uh, his pace split isn't fantastic, but again, he's quick enough for a CDM. Uh, shooting is reasonably good. The finishing is not great. So again, playing him CDM shouldn't really matter. You won't likely be banging anything with him. Passing is phenomenal, like just top end passing, really, really good passing stats. His dribbling even, the agility and balance both being over 80 makes him very, very usable in this game. A lot less like a bust like some of the other Serie A players that you have. Um, and then in his terms of his defending, it's all very well rounded uh, and his physicals as well, very well rounded. The only thing you are lacking is a little bit of jumping. And at 5'11", he's not going to be a towering CDM that wins a lot of headers for you, but breaking up play, more like a Kante type player, I think, is what you're looking at with this. If you did want to play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder, then I would suggest maybe a Hunter on him just to boost the shooting, boost the pace for him. But if you're going to be playing him in CDM, then obviously an anchor really, really helps out. And if you really are a very pace focus then a shadow is obviously the other option for this but i think in terms of cards that they've released that suarez one was fantastic mukieli was fantastic de la Feu was fantastic but this one is right right up there with those cards and is way above sort so of the uh, the grealish cards and things like that they've released that have not been as good this is a top top tier card and i really think this is worth grinding for um, I hope that this uh, video has given you some insight and ideas as a team to use. Uh, if you like the video, guys, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe to me, you can. Make sure to check me out on the socials below, especially TikTok. My name's Soapsy, and I'll see you guys later.